Kiernan. Hello. It's so good to see you, to have my witchy Sabrina back in my life. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling amazing now. It's always good to see you. You always make it feel like Sabrina is actually happening to me. Like it wouldn't be a press day without Leanne. Like it <laughs> Love you so much. I was so excited to hear that our long awaited Sabrina Riverdale crossover was finally happening. What was going on behind the scenes to make this finally be the moment that we've got you up to Vancouver on the Riverdale set? Break it down for oh, me. Oh my gosh, it was a journey. It felt like it took forever to get there, but basically I was working and just schedules aligned at a certain point and we just kind of said okay we're gonna we're gonna really do this let's see how we can work it out and fit it in mm -hmm. and before i knew it i was on a plane up to vancouver and it was just like old times it was wonderful feels like it's been centuries doesn't it okay let's talk about the episode by now everyone has seen it but you were in river vale and not yeah. riverdale so mm -hmm. is it a true crossover in your mind kiernan i think it's a crossover because it's still the show riverdale mm -hmm. So it should it should count as a crossover, though I don't think that it's the last. I mean, I hope not. I hope we see her again. I hope this is a taste and I hope it makes people want to see Sabrina actually go to Riverdale. Like, I really think that there's something interesting to be had back in Riverdale. And now that we know that Sabrina is back and she could, you know, I think this was sort of just setting everything up. Well, especially because it was so much fun to see you and Madeline share those scenes together. And in River Vale, Cheryl is Abigail, is a witch. Like it was very it's a lot. interesting. It was a lot. It was a lot to process. Together. Yeah. When you read the script, were you like, I'm sorry, I need the Cliff Notes Like, version. Roberto, catch me up. <laughs> like, what is happening here? So yes, I do think that uh, a simple streamlined Riverdale Sabrina episode could also happen. That I would love to see. Cause who right. did you not get to interact with during I mean, this I just got Mads, which was incredible because we'd never hung out before and I think she's the greatest. Yeah. So we had so much fun, but I mean, I want that like, I want like a Sabrina Archie moment. How iconic. I mean, it would be so good. And I feel like I'm sure in one iteration in the comics, they must have gotten together. Archie's been oh, with everyone. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. We have a lot of mutual friends, share a lot of the same interests. But the last time you and I talked, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina came to an oh. end. It was an ending that you or I did not see coming. We have Sabrina trapped in the afterlife with Nick. So it was kind of like a bittersweet ending. Is she still there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Given the fact that she went to Rivervale, I would think that she found her way out. I don't yeah. think she's going to die. Okay. I don't think Sabrina's the type of girl that would just die and deal with it. Like, mm -hmm. I, I really do think that there's no chance that she would not find her way out. I don't think they would stand for it. No. I just don't. Like, I think, you know, they had the funeral because you have to do that sort of thing. But I think after a minute, they would all be like, okay, we're not going to deal with this and go get her. There is no death for witches. It's been a year since the show ended, almost two years since you filmed it, I believe. Yeah. So you've had time to digest it. You've had time to see the fans' reactions to the ending. How are you feeling about it now, having almost two years away from this role? I feel great about it. I feel so good about what we did. And so I'm still so excited by all the stuff that we did. It felt like every episode was just a marathon that we were sprinting <laughs> and we did it somehow. And I'm so immensely proud of just everyone in that show and, and what we were able to accomplish in the, in the time that we had. And mm -hmm. you know, as time goes on my heart just gets bigger and bigger for it like I just I, I love Sabrina so much I always will so it doesn't sound like you've closed the chapter on this character would you be open to stepping back into her witchy shoes again yeah I mean I always kind of say that like I'll play Sabrina any chance I get yeah. I think that it always has to be right and it has to align and it has to be good for the moment but yeah I love her I would be hard pressed to say no to doing a Sabrina anything okay good all right I'm like so if for all the fans out there who are like we want to read Union movie. They can yeah. still hold out hope. Totally. I know what you're gonna say. That somehow I'm responsible for what's happening. I'm never the one that's greenlighting these things. Like I'm I'm always right. down. One thing I know about me is that I'm perpetually down to reprise Sabrina, yeah. Sally, anytime. Say it, I'm there. There's other people that have to do more 
<laughs> I'm 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 a yes woman. I'm a yes. Mad Men is still by far my favorite drama. I can rewatch it oh. anytime. And there were Love rumors it. right after it ended about a Sally Draper spinoff. Was that a real thing? Is that something that I don't you think would it ever? Was real? I don't okay. think the rumors were real. I think it was more just kind of like excitement and uh, curiosity around it. But yeah. never say never. Never say never. Do you ever think about what she would be up to? Yeah, in many different eras. I think about the fact that she would probably still be alive. Like, <laughs> God willing, like I think that, you know, thinking about Sally now now is kind of a really funny thing. Like if the spinoff was, I would obviously not play her, but like if the spinoff was literally her in like 2022, would be kind of wild and amazing. But also, yeah, I do think about, you know, what she would get up to in the 70s and the 80s. And I think that's wildly exciting. I would just picture her like living in the 90s, being a mom and what yeah, that would be true. like. <laughs> There's so many eras. There are yeah. so many eras ahead. I guess. What's next for you, Keeks? What are you up to? I just wrapped a movie called Wildflower a couple weeks ago, which was so fun and wonderful. Jean Smart and Jackie Weaver are in it and Alex Daddario and Charlie Plummer. And it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful movie. And I'm so excited for people to see it next year, hopefully. And this summer I was filming White House Plumbers, which is an HBO show with Woody Harrelson and Justin Theroux. That was amazing and so oh my fun. Gosh. So 2022, I'm excited. I feel like I, I worked a lot in 2021 and then all the stuff comes out the year after. I love that though. Yeah. So now so we're I'll gonna get to see, see a lot more of you. Yeah, yes. yeah, I'll be around. You know, I do anything to help a fellow witch. We saw Sabrina come back in Rivervale. We saw you share a bunch of really great scenes with Madeline. Pitch me what is next. In addition to seeing scenes with Archie, if you could come back to Riverdale, mm -hmm. give me that, that storyline. What are you pitching to Roberto? I want Sabrina to hook up with someone in Riverdale. <laughs> Literally. You didn't have enough of the strong shippers from Harvey or Nick. I know, but I just love it for her. Go, Sabrina, go. I mean, maybe it's selfish. I don't know. I just think it'd be really, like, I love Sabrina when she's just living her life. I love her spell casting. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I've done so much of it that I do feel like Sabrina having, like, grounded relational experiences, especially with characters that we already know and love from Riverdale. Mm -hmm. My God. That's Count my me name. in. That's my so, I mean, write my name in the, in the Book of the Beast. We're here for done, it. Done, done.